Hey guys, it's Brie, and I apologize. It's been so long since I actually filmed a real beauty video. As you guys know, August was a really difficult month for me because of the hurricane. Like, isn't it kind of crazy that I spent the anniversary of Katrina, the seven year anniversary of Katrina, going through another hurricane. Insane. So I know I filmed a little bit and I just wanna say thank you guys for your prayers and your comments. Like, honest to God, that got me through so much during this hurricane. I was terrified, you know. I can look the devil square in the eyes and say, come on, what's up? But when a hurricane comes, no. That is the one thing that I'm terrified of. And yeah, I got caught in the middle of it. I'll give you guys kind of a rundown on what happened. I was so sick and kind of filming to let you guys know I'm okay. Again, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for all your prayers and sweet comments. And thankfully, I still have a house, as you see, so thank God it did not destroy my house again. But what happened, what had happened was, during the hurricane, I was working all Saturday. And my family invited Nick and I to Mississippi to go to the gun show. And I love guns. I collect guns. Don't know if you guys know that about me, but I do. So we were just going to go for the gun show, stay the night, and come right back. Not even be gone 24 hours. No big deal. So I literally just packed a little, like, overnight bag for one day. And so did Nick. And we went. He has been sick. For, you know, and Nick never gets sick. Out of five years that I have been with this man, he has never been sick. And he got sick his first time in five years. Kind of funny. So riding in the car with him, I don't have an immune system. So if anyone in the radius of me is sick, I get it. So I guess being in the car with a sick person, by the time I got to Mississippi, I was full-blown sick as could be. So obviously, we didn't make the gun show. So we were there watching the news and this hurricane stuff happened. And I was sort of freaking out and then I was so sick and I was like, dude, I have to go to the doctor. Like, I can't even, it was so bad. I was so sick. I mean, if you guys watch the videos, y'all know I was so sick. So I wanted to come back to New Orleans because oddly enough, the news did a whole video on me being like ready for hurricanes and hurricane preparedness and I pretty much had everything ready to go. Like I could have packed up most of my important belongings in an hour and been out the door. But at that point I was so sick. I wasn't keeping food down. I, I couldn't have survived a, a two hour car ride home. Really, really depressed and feeling like the biggest idiot on earth. Like why did I leave my house? You know, there's food everywhere in the refrigerator, and my house has two refrigerators, oddly enough, and I, I don't know. I just felt like the crappiest person alive, that I left everything in this hurricane was coming, and there was this possibility that I could have lost everything I owned again, and I was really too sick to do anything about it. And I went to two different doctors, and the first doctor didn't give me the right medication, so I went through like two rounds of antibiotics. It was so so bad. I'm better now. Not 100%. Like, I took Dayquil this morning because I'm still sick. And it's been, what, three weeks now? And I also wanted to share the thing that we did not have in 2005 during Katrina was social networking. We didn't really have Facebook. It wasn't a big thing back then. I had it, but no one I knew had it. And not knowing where your friends are, not knowing if they're okay, if they're staying, you know, you kind of just want to know. It was helpful that I knew where people were, so I was constantly checking my Facebook just so I'd have a mental count of, oh, this friend is here, that friend is there, just to know since I did lose friends in the hurricane. And you wouldn't believe the mean, horrible things people say about hurricanes. Seriously, you would think that someone from Louisiana, Mississippi that has been through a hurricane, lost everything, would be a little more sensitive to hurricanes. And I, there were so many people that said such jerky things on Facebook, like, oh, it's only a category one. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. So I'll include pictures of what only a category one can do. And the person that actually said that lost everything in Katrina. 
So grow up, hurricanes are a big deal. So this is a direct quote from one of my friends on Facebook. What category is this hurricane? One, two, that's it. I'm ashamed of you all. Don't you for one second think that I wouldn't be doing the exact same thing for this hurricane if I live there, which is absolutely nothing. And then he went on to say, you people have lost your minds. No one can evacuate here unless it is a three. And what did I say? No one knows exactly where I live and I refuse to give out that information for a possible category two. Hey, I heard next month there might be dark clouds and a strong breeze. Quick, abandon the city. Well, let me just say to the person that said this, on my Facebook, um, my house did flood. My house got two inches of water and um, the refrigerator, it was so disgusting when we got home. My house was a week and I think two days without power here in the city. And when the water came up, the crown molding, I mean, which is not a big deal. I shouldn't even be discussing it because of what happened during Katrina, but the crown molding separated from the wall. I'll actually show you. See, as you can see, it separated because of the water that was standing in here. So, I mean, it really isn't that big of a deal. But that's what happened. Like I said, I mean, it really wasn't a big deal at all. The only thing I lost during Hurricane Isaac was when I left work, I unpacked my work bag and I took all the books that I used to teach and I put them on the floor right at the door because I thought, oh, when I come back, I'll just take those books, put them back in my bag and go to work. And I sort of set it up so I could be fast and get to work on time. Well, yeah, since that room flooded, all my books were gone, which is sad. But here again, not a big deal, but that is a category one in my neighborhood. I lost all the books I used to teach with and we're gonna have like some small redoings and we have to buy a new refrigerator because the refrigerator literally had fur when I opened it. Like it was mold all in there. The refrigerator still smells like mold and it's still disgusting and it won't work properly and the ice like it, So we lost our refrigerator so it will cost money and damage to redo all that stuff but I will include pictures of the damage but I did want to do just a small video to kind of show you guys what happened during Isaac I know you guys are like hey give me an update are you okay are you feeling better I'm feeling better back in my house my life is back to normal thank God and again Thank you for all of your prayers and comments. I really do appreciate it. This is an update video. The next video will be my August favorite. So stay tuned. I'm just going to make it kind of one video, but upload it in two parts. So thanks for watching. If you uh, wanted to know an update on Isaac, rate, comment, subscribe below. Bye.